A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Grisman Aduloju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Salmon de UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact, for our meditation and discussion. We're considering the word of God from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 58, beginning from verse number 6. We read through to verse number 14. The Bible says, Is this not the fast that I have chosen to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry? and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out, when you see the naked that you cover him, and not hide yourself from your own flesh, then your light shall break forth like the morning, your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. If you take away the yoke from your midst, the pointing of the finger, and the speaking wickedness, if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in darkness, and your darkness shall be as the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose water do not fail. Those from among you shall build the old waste places. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations, and you shall be called the repairer of the bridge, the restorer of streets to dwell in. If you turn away your food from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy day of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him, not doing your own way, nor finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words. Then you shall delight yourself in the Lord, and I will cause you to ride on the high places of the earth and feed you with the heritage of Jacob, your father. The mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word in Jesus' name. We're considering the prayer and fasting dynamite. Let me start by saying that every commandment of scripture is ordained for our profiting. Whatever God says, whatever instruction, whatever command from the scripture is ordained for our profiting. God's word is for our profiting. And that's exactly what Paul was saying uh, to his son Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter number 3. And in verse number 16, beginning, all scripture according to Timothy is given by the inspiration of God and it is profitable. And so the scripture is profitable and the intent is that he may perfect you, that the man of God may be perfect and thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So the instructions of God, the commands of scriptures are all for the benefit of mankind. They are for our benefit. Everything God has commanded is to make you better, to make you good in life. Nothing in scriptures is for God's profit or benefit, but ours. It is for your benefit. It is, it is for your blessing. In the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter number 33, and in verse number 3, God instructed us to call unto him. He said, call upon me and I will answer. And I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Dear listener, you must understand that what you do not know are much more than the things that you do know. And it is therefore necessary for you to call upon God to depend on him so that he can reveal to you those things that you do not know. It is the revelation of these things that you do not know that will lead to your safety, your security, and your prosperity. That was why Job prayed, that which I see not, teach thou me. God will teach you that which you do not see. He will show you that which you do not know. Why has he commanded us to fast and to pray? God has instructed us to pray, to show our dependency on him, to show that you are dependent on him. Adding fasting to your prayers makes some things, some benefits available to the believer. 
And so when God asks you to fast, uh, it is for your benefit. But what are the benefits that we derive in the place of prayers and in waiting on the Lord? Do not forget, today is day 12 of our 12 days of fasting and prayers. And I'd like you to see why God has ordained fasting and prayers. Number one, this guarantees the release and the renewal of power and strength. Fasting and praying guarantee the release and the renewal of power and the strength of the Almighty. You need strength to start a journey. You need the strength of the Almighty to finish the journey. You must understand it is not everyone that starts a journey that finishes the journey. You have started the journey of this year and you will finish it well. You are looking forward to starting the journey of next year, 2024. You will start well, you will finish well. But strength is needed. Power is needed to be able to embark on this journey and to finish the journey. In Luke chapter 4, verse number 14, the Bible says, Then Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee. Jesus had waited on God in prayers and in fasting. He had fasted for 40 days, and the Bible says he returned to, in the strength and the power of the Spirit to Galilee. Waiting on the Lord in fasting and in prayers strengthens you or renews the strength of God that is available to a man. No wonder then the book of the prophet Isaiah in chapter 40 and in verse 31 says, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We have been commanded to wait on the Lord to fast and pray so that strength can be renewed unto us. You need the strength of God to finish this journey and to start the journey of the coming year and years. You need the strength of God to finish the journey that you have started and that you will start. It is important for your strength to be renewed so you can walk your way safely. It is important for your strength to be renewed so you can mount up with wings as eagles, so you can run and not be weary, so you can walk and not faint. And so God ordained this fasting and prayers to accomplish this purpose. You need the strength of God to start the journey of the coming year and years and finish the journey. And that's why you need to wait on the Lord to generate strength, to generate power. You must understand fasting and prayer are integral part of the power equation. You need to operate in power because we live in a wicked world. Do not forget in Psalm 66 verse number 3, the Bible says, Say unto God, how terrible are you in your works, and through the greatness of your power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto you. Enemies submit only to power. They submit to the power of God that is available in you. And don't forget also, you are going to enjoy God and receive benefits from God depending on the power, the power quotient, the level of power that you are operating with or operating in. That was the reason why Paul the Apostle in his epistle to the Ephesians chapter 3 and in verse 20 says, Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above what that we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. So God will do for you, with you, according to the power at work in you. You will go in your journey to the extent that the power of God available to you can carry you. Elijah ate, Elijah drank, and he received strength. And he went in the strength of that food, a 40 days journey. He went on a 40 days journey based on the strength that he had received from the meal of the angels that he ate. So fasting and prayers brings you power, brings you strength. It renews your power, it renews your strength. Fasting subdues the flesh, which war against the spirit and make you spiritually sensitive and not sensual. You become spiritual and not sensual when you wait on the Lord in prayer and in fasting. And therefore, dear listener, as this year winds to a close, look for a day, look for a time to set apart to pray and to fast. Of course, you pray every day. Don't forget our last discussion. Talk to God on a daily basis. That is in the place of prayer. And let God talk to you. That is in the place of the Bible study, the study of the word of God. Talk also to other believers in fellowship and talk to unbelievers in evangelism. These four are very important. And these are the things that you must do this year and the coming year and always as a believer in Christ Jesus. Therefore, pray. 
Therefore, fast, and you will see power being released to you and be renewed to you. May the power of God be released afresh and be made new to you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let us pray. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray and say, Father, renew my strength. Give me enough strength and stamina to start the to finish the journey of this year and to start the journey of 2024 and finish it. Shall we pray in Jesus' name? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the strength, for the power, that you will renew strength to me. Renew my strength. Release strength to me to finish the journey of this year, 2023, gloriously, and to start and finish the journey of the coming year to the praise of your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. I'd like you to lift up your voice and pray and say, Father, the remaining days of this year and in the coming year, I will run and not be weary. I will walk and will not faint in the name of Jesus. Make that your declaration. Father, I declare that the remaining days of this year and in the coming year, I will run and not be weary. I will walk, I will not faint. In the name of Jesus, your strength will be daily renewed unto me, and your name will be glorified in my life. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I'd like you to lift up your voice in prayers and say, Father, please simply surprise me the remaining days of this year. Surprise me, O God, with your visitation. Surprise me, O God with your blessings. Surprise me, O God, with your favor in the name of Jesus. This is my prayer, O God, that the remaining days of this year, you will surprise me pleasantly. Surprise me with your favor. Surprise me with your blessings and let your name be glorified. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I pray for you in the name that is above all names, that God will renew strength to you and he will release fresh power fresh fire to you in the name of Jesus, strength and stamina to end this year well and to start and finish the coming year gloriously. This is released to you now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you the remaining days of this year and in the coming year, you will run, you will not be weary, you will walk, you will not faint. The power of God will be available for you and the name of the Lord will be glorified in your life. I declare that the Lord will pleasantly surprise you with his favor, with his blessings, and with his goodness the remaining days of this year in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I invite you, dear Krishna, to join us for the last day of our 12 days of prayer and fasting to take over 2024. Join us later today, 5.30 p.m. at the Light Cathedral. It's our day 12 of fasting and prayers. You may wish to join this meeting on any of our social media platforms, on Facebook at LICCNG1, on Twitter at LICCNG, and on YouTube at Lighthouse International Christian Center. Forward this message and share the link with your contacts. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on other social media platforms. My handle on all platforms is at Yemi Grace Man. Until I come your way again tomorrow for another exciting edition of our program. I am Yemi Grace Man Adulogu, wishing you a very glorious day and the Lord bless you. I am free.